from WFSB. This is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, April 24th. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and here are your top stories. Investigators in Efer Eastford are trying to figure out what exactly caused a historic congregational church to burn right to the ground. Now, crews tell us that the fire started around 3.30 yesterday morning and that the fire lasted for about four hours before the building was completely leveled. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but we will be sure to keep you updated on air and on the Channel 3 app as we learn more. And a man is dead after being struck by a driver in Hartford late Saturday night. Police are now searching for the driver who left the scene. Now, police tell us that the man was in his 30s and that he was hit right at the intersection of Farmington Avenue and Gillett Street. He later died from his injuries. So if you have any information, please give Harvard police a call. And now to New Haven, where we're coming off of a very violent weekend there, where police have been investigating three different shootings that took place just within the span of 24 hours. One woman we know was shot dead on Salston Stall Avenue early Sunday morning. We're told that one man has been arrested in that shooting. And then a second woman was shot at what police say was a stunt dr driving show in a Best Buy parking lot. Lastly, the man was shot on Huntington Street. He and that last woman are expected to survive. No arrests have been made in those last two shootings. All right, I'm going to show you this map because it means business. There is a frost advisory in effect tonight for northern Fairfield County where the growing season has begun. That means there will be frost in other parts of the state. The average last frost isn't until between May 1st and 15th for the shaded areas of blue. April, we're right in the middle of it. April 21st through the 30th, there could still be frost in the areas of blue. And again, that's where that frost advisory is in northern Fairfield County where the growing season has begun. And uh, for along the immediate shoreline, you should be pretty good to go. All right, uh, early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today. Yeah, maybe a brief little shower around later this afternoon with a mixture of sun and clouds. So not a bad looking day. Partly to mostly cloudy to start, partly cloudy skies today. Cooler than average. Uh, it's going to be a cooler day. 60 is the daytime high for today. We should be at about 65. Your seven day forecast rinse and repeat tomorrow. Wednesday night into Thursday, some showers, and then the weekend, okay. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it.